my name is Puna and today I'm going to talk about a little bit about the paper that we used on the floral, on the big flower, the wallflower that we used, uh, made earlier. So I used some of the papers on there um, and they're called coordinations paper. We have a bunch of like stacks that the coordinations paper come in. These are great to use because they're already embossed and I'm going to show you a little bit more about what, what happens with the coordinations paper with the embossing. It's a really, really cool product that we just got in that we want to kind of feature. So um, today I'm going to show you a really quick and fast card that we're going to make with the coordinations paper. I'm using a paper from uh, one of the stacks that already has embossing on it. You can see it here. And what I'm going to do just to bring out the embossing a little bit, I'm going to be using a sanding pad. Coordinations also has a sanding pad or we have something like this which you can buy and it's just um, you know, real fine sandpaper on one side and we're just going to use it to lightly go over the paper and you're going to see that, that it starts to bring the embossing out so that relief that is already put into that paper you start to see the design from it. So that looks pretty good. You can send it more if you want, but I kind of like the way that's looking right now. And um, so I have this piece of paper and we're just going to make a card with that. The other great thing that you can do with a coordinations paper is tear it. And I'm going to show you what, what happens when you do that too. But first, to set up our card base, I just have a regular A2 size card. Um, I got a piece of paper that is scrapbooking paper and I've already cut it down and the size is four and a quarter inches by five and a half inches. And what I did was I stuck some double-sided tape on the back of it, um, already placed it there, and we're just gonna put that right onto the card. So let me just pull this off. And that four and a quarter by five and a half inches is actually what is gonna be your A2 size paper, or A2 card size, I should say. And all I'm gonna do, so I pulled off the stickers, and then all I'm gonna do is just really easily press it right down onto my card. So that's gonna be the start of the front of my card. I also have, like I said, the coordinations paper. And what I'm gonna do, I wanna have this nice sort of um, torn look to it. And this is the same size as the other paper that I did. And I'm just gonna do a tear, sort of, not really halfway, but a little bit less than halfway, I would say. And you can see as you tear, you're gonna sh start to show the core of the paper, which is a different color, which is why you get that really nice effect. So there's my tear. I'm gonna use my double-sided tape again to just go right along the edges here, and I'm gonna tack this down. And so the coordinations paper, we have actually been carrying single sheets of it um, in our stores for a while now, but this is a completely different thing because now we don't even have to take it to to emboss on it or anything. It's already come embossed. All you have to do is the light sanding that I did earlier and you'll be able to really see, you know, the nice effects that you can get with your coordinations paper. I'm going to set that right on the side there. And then one last thing, just a one piece left for our card. I decided I'm going to make a thank you card. I got some great Christmas gifts this year. So I want to just send out a few thank yous. And this is a really quick and easy way to do it. So I did earlier, I did a little bit of a stamp that said thank you. And that is going to go right at the bottom there. And that's going to complete my card. Hope you liked it. Definitely check out our coordinations papers in the store. They're really, really fun to play with. Thanks again.